Hi, Hiram here. The other day I did a boil test using this Vortec 1000 and I used, it's a remote feed job, and I used my bubbler, not this uh, container but the other one, but I used the bubbler on it and because it's kind of hard to regulate a bubbler, the remote thing, I forgot to put the, uh, I forget what you call these, the on off switch or whatever. You can kind of regulate with these, but not really well. But I forgot to put that on the hose. So the vortex kind of ran away. It just kept sucking alcohol in and alcohol in and made for real big yellow flames. It got the water to a boil real fast. Uh, two cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a boil in three under four minutes, three minutes, 57 seconds. But what I want to try to do now is I drug out my pump remote here. I'm going to try doing using it with this one. That once it goes down, it does get kind of blue, but then it runs out of fuel. But with a pump, I can regulate how much alcohol goes into the burner. With this one, it's about 12 pumps to a half of a fluid ounce. I was hoping this would go down so I could show you. Well, what I'm going to do today is I'll try to keep this in the blue mode by not pushing so much alcohol into it and see what that does. Because all this, from what I know, what I've read, this yellow is like just wasted alcohol. Come on. It needs a good amount of alcohol in the beginning to get it warmed up. Now, I've had a lot of people say that what good is this, or ask what good is this for, uses too much alcohol and whatnot, that they prefer the mileage rather than the capacity, you know, have a little burner that only burns a small amount, but try melting snow or ice with something like that. It's almost impossible. Something cranking out heat like this thing does, excuse me, <coughs> the way this thing cranks out heat, you could melt ice or snow. Unfortunately, I don't have any snow here right now or I'd give it a try. Maybe one of these days what I should do is just get a block of ice and see how long that takes. See how the flames are starting to go down. They're going down. Now if I just pump it before it goes out, see it pushes the, pushes the flames back up. So that's what I'm going to try today. Let me go get my water prepped and I'll be right back for a test. Okay, I'm back. As you can see, the flames, if I regulate this well, the flames stay blue. Now, this one really consumes the alcohol, so you end up having to keep pumping it. Maybe something with a, this is the reserve that I'm using. It's a bottle that has markings on it, so I can kind of get an idea how much alcohol is being used. But another idea I had was maybe an air pressure with some sort, some sort of a, yeah, some sort of a thumb needle, a needle valve to regulate how much alcohol comes out. Anyway, so I've got two cups of water here setting at 60 degrees. Put that on the burner. And let's see where this goes. Okay, here we are at two minutes. It's up to 132. I may have over pumped this. The flames are a little yellow. But let's see where it goes from here. Here we have 210, 211, 212, and 415. Okay. Let me just take this off. That was two cups of water, starting at 60 degrees, came to a boil this time in 4 minutes and 15 seconds. That's because I tried to keep the flame in the blue. See, it keeps running down. Now, when I made this, I meant it for something that I just refill it, not keep pumping all the time. But uh, it seems like if I put too much in this, See. See how it's blue? But now it's getting all yellow. Let me turn the light out. 
And that's what it was doing with the bubbler. It was just sucking alcohol in here too much and making for yellow flame. So I cut it back a little bit, which cut back a little bit of the heat. See how nice and blue it gets? But this is an interesting stove because it uses slits instead of uh, pinholes for the jets. I was uh, talking with the guy, and he still does make these. I'll put an address down below for his website where he sells them. He says he's made changes since I bought this one. But anyway, so this is the Vortec 1000. Two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, room temperature 45, humidity 44. It's cloudy and windy out. And it brought the two cups of water starting at 60 degrees to a boil in 4 minutes 15 seconds, which is about 18 seconds longer than what it took the other day when it was just running full blast with big yellow flames. So not bad. But i got to come up with some other way to regulate this. It's a real, real hog, but you get the flames for it, the heat for it. Like I said, this is something for heating up big pots of water, ice, snow, stuff like that. Hmm. So anyway, I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.